Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to another part of Airport CEO Alpha 35. In our last episode we did, we had the remote stands not working and working all at the same time. They now work, uh, which is glorious news, really. Um, I don't want the ramp agents in there. This is not your staff room. Go to your staff room, ramp agents. Go on. Go to your staff room. Great job. Um, now, um, a couple of things. Um, this coral little bit blue bit here, I was thinking about um, having another shop and just chopping it in half. I've changed my mind. It's now going to be a secure checkpoint for staff because it'll be a faster one for them to access. Um, we'll still have... Um, yeah, we'll still have them sort of doing what they do, but I, I wanted a secure zone for staff. So that's what we're going to put in place here. Um, so I'm going to do that first. Um, oh, that's a large secure... Oh, we must have unlocked large stuff. Oh, international zones, passport checkpoint points. Oh my word, the dream's coming true, everybody. It's all beginning to happen. Um, we'll worry about that in a minute, I suppose. So what we'll do is we're going to add a door... Um, at the end of the corridor over here. Uh, let's just do that. Uh, do you want to delay this flight for an hour? What's the issue? Why is it running late? Refueling. Oh, crap. It's refueling now. Yeah, delay it. It'll be fine. Um, the flight will leave in a minute. We need to get more fuel trucks, is basically what we've learned here. Or secondly, another fuel depot, because that fuel depot is miles away and it just takes ages for them to go and refuel every time. So um, let's get some of your fuel trucks in, because I don't even think I've got many. Um, we can sell our Avgas ones now. Look how much they cost. So look, sell. Oh my word, sell. Oh my word. Do you see how much money we made? Just by selling two fuel trucks. But we do need to get more, so um, yeah, it's not all good. Um, let's get some more. If I order, we'll order three. There we go. That's all on the way now. That's good news. Job done. So, now that's all organised, uh, what we want to do today, we're going to be doing baggage handling, but um, I just wanted to, to get this checkpoint in for our staff. There we go. Can we get another wall block in here? Oh, excuse me. And then what we want to... Oh, actually, we want it there. And then what we want to do is, once this is built, oh, we need a door. We can make it a nice slidey door for them. I love all of our rampages, it's like, goodness me, I need a toilet. They've done a great job. So there we go, they're going to install this, and we need to make sure pretty quickly that we set it to staff only. So this is a staff only checkpoint. So any staff members, look, any staff members that find the need to go through, they will. So there we go. So instead of having to walk all the way around here, all the way around here to get through security, they can now just cut through. Um, and I believe that the game's smart enough to know that that's the quickest way for certain people to do that. Um, eventually, we can make a new terminal, which we will build somewhere over here, um, really, really pretty, and have specific staff rooms for for, spe uh, for specific people in specific areas. So we will think that through, but for now, this will have to do. So we've got our remote stands, we've got everything, all these five stands here, and we've got these two medium stands, and we're making a bit of money now, so that's good news. What we don't have yet, or at the moment, is um, we don't have a baggage handling system. And we do need to do that. As you can see, it's asking us to do it here. So, we're going to look at doing that today. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh, this is going to be so, so strenuous. So what it's asking us to do is extend our terminal. Right now, our terminal is completely surrounded by everyone and everything. But don't fret, ladies and gentlemen, because I've thought about it, and we have a downstairs bit. And I think, can we build terminal downstairs? Oh, we can. Now, 
this was all part of the plan. So, what we're going to do is we're going to build under this sort of area here. So, it's going to create a second building. Now, this will give us excuse to use two things. Firstly, it'll give us an excuse to use the underground mechanics of the game. But secondly, it'll give us an excuse to use our walkerlators and our lifts. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait. I'm genuinely buzzing about this. So, we want to come to about, I think, possibly about here. Go downstairs and build. And then what we're going to do is we're going to spend nearly, oh god, nearly all of our money. Does it need to be that wide? I don't think it needs to be that wide. No, it doesn't. It just needs to be... It just needs to come to here, actually. In fact, the underdoor corridor doesn't even have to go that far. No, it changed our mind. So, we're going to go downstairs. It's going to start here. I think we can stretch to here. We'll go back upstairs, and then... I don't know how many of that is across. Nine, is it? Nine. So when we get here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that across. Go back down, 126 grand. Now, there's good reason for doing this, um, because we want to try and use our walkerlators now to stretch to other sections of the um, airport. What we can also do is build in um, a little building here to potentially use remote um, stands again here. So it creates something new, um, but also it allows us to open our baggage bay. Now, actually, our baggage bay could go here because, like I said, service roads can just come and drive across taxiways. That's not a problem, and they don't interfere. <clears throat> so it is a clever way of, of doing that. Now, I've never built um, underground before. I've put roads underground and, and such, but what that service vehicle can't reach their designated job site. Okay, I, I don't know. It seems to be doing its job. Employee can't reach job site. I think that's changed now too. Yes. Um, this is running an hour late. Why are you running an hour late? Refueling. Uh, yes. It ran out of fuel, the fuel truck that was fueling it, and had to come back round to fuel it again. So it's a slight delay on that air lap. But that's okay. You'll get one or two of those every now and again. Um, and then that can't land, but it'll land in a minute, so we'll just have to play catch-up, won't we? Great fun, everybody. This is what this game's all about. Pure headaches. Um, I'm going to get some Maverick fuel trucks, only because they carry more fuel, and we shouldn't run into those problems, really. Um, and then what I'm also going to do is get some medium fuel depots, um, just because we want to make sure that that's good. Um, we're reducing project time at the minute, so that's all fine as well. So, get rid of you, we are we know what's going on there. If we go downstairs, you can see that for some reason... Oh. Right, so the reason they can't build the walls is down to the fact there's no stairs. So, what we need to do is build stairs. Um, is it there? Yes. So, stairs are the cheapest. You can have single and double. I think before it was only double. So, you can have single or double. You can have escalators, which are five grand, but stairs don't have an operating cost. You can have a lift, but that's really expensive. So what we'll do is we'll start with a cheap staircase. Um, oh, great. It has to all be secure as well. Forgot about that. All of this has to be secure, just, just to let you all know. Um, it says secure zone five, and it's probably because it's not connected by the staircase yet. But we'll have a look at that in a minute. I'm hoping... Oh, go down. Right. If we put it there for now... Yeah. There we go. They should crack on with that in a second. Right. So, they're going to crack on with building a wall. That's great. We've put the stairs in place, so that's great. We've started making money back again, so again, that's great. Um, fueling's still a bit of an issue, but don't worry, we're going to change what that means to be fueled in a minute, because we're going to move it from here. Um, in fact, they might be close to finishing that off, so let's go to there. Oh, great, look at this. Large. 
As if we needed this look. That doesn't even go in there. I don't even have enough funds to build it. Um, but yeah, these are only £8,000. We should probably get another one in place. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll soon find out. Um, I've noticed that we don't know what the weather is because we haven't built a weather station for our airport yet. <laughs> oh dear. Girl, we're shocking. What a shocking airport, right? We could just build... We can build that there. I'm just going to build it there. Why not? Now, we have got a staircase now which opens up all the way down to here, which is great news. So, what we want to do is we need to build a terminal foundation. Now... Again, it's what was it? Um, seven down from the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, nearly. Okay. Well, we'll build it in line here and in line there. And I guess we'll do that for now. Just a hundred and eight thousand. It's not sort of what we wanted to build right now. I don't think. So no, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do. Is spend all of our money, all 100, and let's go 165,000 of it, on a new building. So there is some stuff that we can really do now, and I quite like that. So let's get in some service roads. I think we have enough money to stretch to put in a little bit of service road here. So if I can, do I want to put it there? Yeah, I do. Do I want to put it here? We could put it here. There we go. So we're going to put some service road along here. Actually, no, I don't change my mind completely. We're going to put the service road in here. There we go. That should make a lot more sense. Now, it's going to take them a while to build this all up because they're still building the walls underground there but now what we should have is a building here that should be able to house our what do you call them business what what should we call it <laughs> i can't speak today um i mean we should be able to hold our baggage loading um bay over in this building um so it gives this a little bit of you know, an opportunity to house something that's relative is going to be exceptionally useful, really, um, for us. Um, so what we need to do is we need to not allow it to build some wall, and I think it's twenty pieces of wall we don't want it to build. So um, we can. I, I want to put it to one side, and there is a reason for it. Um, so we'll leave that one. So one, two, three, four. 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 So I think we need to destroy that. Is where I'm going with it. I don't think we can place our system until... Oh, we don't even have enough money to place our system. It's 50,000. So that's slightly embarrassing, isn't it, everybody? <laughs> it is starting to cool down. We're getting weather updates now. That's nice. So we can actually place that now, even though the rest of the terminal's not built yet. The uh, rest of this is not built yet. Uh, we do need another staircase. Um... So I'm just going to put a small one in for now. Can we go downstairs? Lovely. Uh, it's not secure. That's the problem here. Bloody is now. There we go. <laughs> we will get there. Go downstairs. Let's... So, yeah, it's still saying secure zone 6. Um, oh! It is part of that secure zone now because of the staircase. Brilliant. That worked really well actually. I'm, I'm very happy that the game recognised the staircase. I was getting worried. I, mean, I, I don't know why. I'm sure it was never an issue. Um, so what we want to do is put this little lovely staircase in here I suppose. Let's just put it there for now. We can staff it up and put a wall around it and make it look a bit more official. But um, yeah, there we go. This is going to be where our everything is. Uh, what we also need to place in here is some more service roads whilst we've got the funds. Ah, oh, put this the wrong way round, you know. Do I cancel it? How do I cancel it? Quick, cancel. Whoo, baby! That was close. It'd help if I put it the right way around, wouldn't it? 
like that. There we go. <laughs> Don't make mistakes like me, people. Get it right first time. That's what I say. Um, so, yeah, there, there we go. Now we're going to start getting this in part. Now, the actual realistic part of this is, or the actual fact of the matter is, um, I still owe a loan. Oh, no, I paid off my loan. No, no. Wait, did I? Did I pay off my loan? Because it says take loan. I borrow more. I can borrow £1.4 million. Pounds. It wouldn't be an awful idea, and I could pay it back quicker. Um, but I think I paid back my other loan. Um, I must have paid it back now. I think, yeah. I think I paid it back. So, um, what we're going to do is... We're, I don't know whether I want to take that sort of hourly cost. That's the only problem. It is a different loan now. Oh, payment remaining. No. <laughs> no, we still owe. We still owe a lot of money on our on our original loan. What we could do is take out this loan with Apex fundings and then pay back the SNI loan. So consolidating our loans, <laughs> which is obviously always a good thing. And then because we are making money, aren't we? And I think we're making five thousand an hour. So I'm going to take a massive loan and repay that loan, yes. So we have £1.2 million, we have to pay back £1.4 million, right? So we've got now loads of money again. That's good news. We we thought about this, trust me. So <laughs> I'm so nervous. Now what we need to do is get um, baggage in. Because once we get baggage in and uh, maybe a restaurant, that would probably go down well with the uh, with the fans here. Um, then we're sort of singing. So we're going to put in a basic cafe. So, oh, very nice. So let's put in, uh, we're going to put a food room in to this side at the moment anyway, at the very least. And we're going to put it, I think, do a 15 by, a 14 by 14. Actually, let's yeah delete the food room, change my mind. We're going to just do it 18 by 12. There we go. An 18 by 12 restaurant. Swift Veg are already like, yes, let's. Let, I want this. So now what we need to do is put some cafe fridges in place. So uh, we'll put in a, a small counter. Put in a couple of small counters, why not? Display fridges. So again, we can put these, pile these like so. And then it says food counter. The one, oh, maybe, yeah, let's put some tables down. That will help, wouldn't it? So if we put one there, one there, one there, and then we have a booth there, a booth there. Oh, crap. No, put too close. Booth there, a booth there, and a booth there. Just for now. It does something a bit creative, I suppose. Um, I think that pitch is broken, but oh well, who really cares? So let's go across there, across there, across there, across there, across there, and across there. And then we get some nice chairs in. I like these bar stools. Two, three, four, one, two, three. And Max facing the wrong way for. There we go. So now we can sign a contract with pretty much. Uh, we can't do it with the bean. The bean want more. Swift veg are normally pretty good. And Bell Beer. Swift, oh, Bell Beer will offer us more money. So let's get in Bell Beer. So there we go. A new beer company are going to come in and they're going to open up in our nice swanky airport. And what we're going to do, um, I do like making. Our restaurants just stand out a little bit and you can do that by having a wall just around the edge of it and it looks a bit more a bit more swag now so there we go bell beer superb our first cafe slash restaurant and it is over in the medium rounds so that's good news right this is now set up ready to start accepting baggage but we do need to do a bit more so what we need to do is build a conveyor belt system so to do so, we need our conveyor belts. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this can be quite a strenuous task. 
Now, as you can see, small check-in desks cannot operate baggage. Oh, how interesting. So, <laughs> so it's clear that only our large check-in desks, our new ones, can. So, the first thing we're going to do is escalate it down all of these guys. Because it's only our medium aircraft at the moment that will service um, baggage. I don't think there's really much need for our other aircraft to do so at this point. Bring it down here. Oh crap. Oh crap, I'm going all the wrong way here. We go down there, across there, why not? And across there, and there we go. Right, so that's good news. Then what we need to do is sort of send it without connecting to anything we don't want it to. We need to send it to our new bay. So it needs to go through a security system basically. Um, so what we can do if we escalate it down that one just so we know what we're sort of dealing with because remember we've got this in place as well. Um, I think it can go down again, can't it? Yes, it can. So, so my thought here is that anything that's going up can go up here very quickly. So, because obviously there's there's loads to play around with here. Now, this can, to be fair, go up here. Right? I'm thinking this through right, aren't I? So, what we can do is have then this conveyor belt system, which is actually the conveyor belt system to come back to the terminal, go past it like that, and then underneath it, alongside here. Right? So, that gives us something to aim for. Then what we want to do is uh, we actually want a collection area. Now, at the moment, this area here is not being used at all for any building. So what it might be worth doing is just adding to the terminal slightly here. Uh, we'll let them build it, and we'll let them get that sorted. People can just leave if they want to. Oh, actually. We're going to come to there, and I'll explain why in a second. Because what we're going to have is the new exit's going to be here. So get rid of that. And can we we'll make that secure and put an exit there this won't be the exit we'll let them crack on with building whatever i have asked them to just build so now what we should have is we should have a conveyor belt system that's going that way which we'll solve in a minute and then another conveyor belt system which is going to come this way and straight up there oh my word it's as if i planned that at that level absolutely couldn't have got that better if i tried and then through it goes. Now, we do need security because otherwise, you know, what's the point of all this? So we have an initial security section that comes in here and then what we'll do just for now is have it go straight up into what is going to be the baggage cargo annihilator. Very important piece of kit, trust me. Anything that passes at the moment will just go straight onto the plane. Now, don't it that that's just how it is. Eventually, this will change when we upgrade our security, but right now, we just have to play it like that. Okay, so yeah, looking good. So now they're building all this. That's great. Um, they should have already have built this, which they have. So this then can come down here into this room. Don't worry, it all will be revealed very shortly. So. We can come to actually get rid of that. Come here, come down. And then what we'll do is if we go like that, use elevator up, we now have a thing where we can go like this, in and around here, down here, 
and then in and back in itself there lovely lovely stuff a baggage collection area so now we've got that in place we need to mark it as baggage claim so what we can do is just mark uh, crap get rid of that make it slightly larger put this section in as baggage claim um actually crap sorry i love making mistakes honestly it's part of my game <laughs> baggage claim trust uh, tr on oh my word i've no 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 that's fine that's fine don't worry about it right let's get a wall in goodness me i just wanted to make it look nice you know and then let's get the doors in so we can have a large door in there La oh no get rid of that don't want that um and then we can have a shorter door down the bottom uh, for people to leave and we can have another large door uh, why not here um, and then what I wanted to do, I know it sounds silly, is put a... Oh, blooming hell. Is put two big ass windows there. Don't ask me why, I just I just thought of doing it. So that's why it's there. Then what we can do, uh, make it look a little bit prettier, put in some plant pots here and there. Oh look, as if I planned it. And then uh, we can make this room sort of quite nice actually. Because um, it is where you collect your baggage. Um, but at the same time, we're going to put some nice wood in there. Oh, look at that. Absolutely class. So this is where baggage claim is, and everything's going to be great. Cool beans. So we need to connect this to that baggage bay. So now they're connected, everything is perfect. Wow, what are the chances? Uh, we can open it now. Um, even though our baggage handling is disabled, we can open it. And we can open this baggage bay too because now they're connected now I'm going to increase the station ramp agents because that's very important and we're going to hire a whole bunch of new ramp agents because they need to service they need to actually work this now it says at the moment um, there's no one actually manning it which is fine they will be able to get there through a convoluted list of um, actual you know walking instructions and as you can see oh look at that they did make it all because of our actual well thought out plan to have them all in that area beautiful so now what we need to do is connect this to check-in desks um, what we have to do is activate the service first so baggage bay enabled and then what we need to do is go this goes to there, this goes to there, and this goes to there. Oh dear. And then this, oh crap, these have to connect. Oh, okay. We can't connect those whilst they're handling the flight. So as soon as that flight's gone, we'll connect the baggage bay. As soon as the money's taken, basically. There we go. That's done. Yeah, don't worry about that. It'll happen. When does this flight leave? Any second. Yeah, don't worry about that. This. When was this meant to take off? 9.10. God, you're doing a great job, guys. Well done. Money's done and connect. So now... We should have an active baggage bay service for just these two flights. What we do need, desperately, crap, is... Um, I think the small poor force will do it. I, I might be wrong. Maybe we get the large... Any minor cargo to home needs with narrow return radius. Um, I don't know whether this is the right one. It is a lot cheaper. Let's just get the roofed versions. What we can do with these two is put them uh, dedicated to the stands. So they will actually park there along with anything else we've ever asked to park there. I don't actually know where the pullback truck is for this car, uh, for this bay. Um, I'm pretty sure we assigned both pullback trucks. We did. So I don't know where that one's run off to, uh, which is quite funny. But oh well. Maybe it's going to fuel up itself. Um, so these right now um, are not connected to a baggage bay. And I know. Um, 
these are not actually connected either. I know, I don't want them to accept baggage. I don't want these to accept baggage, they can't. I don't want them to. I... Does that mean that they want it? Because I can't... The whole, I, I, the whole point, I wanted this purposely to not be able to handle baggage. Maybe we have to put it in, you know. But how... I guess you can't get non-baggage through here. Oh dear. Are we going to have to set up for that? I think we are. That's a shame. The good news is, is that we are set up ready to accept baggage. So, I don't know whether any of these have requested it. They haven't. No, no, neither of these flights have. So we'll start to learn soon. This contract's active and has been for a while and I've noticed that there's no staff. Um, which is quite funny, I suppose. Um, I don't know whether it's worth putting in... Go to the shop. Go to... Counter. Let's put in a large counter. Uh, can we destroy the smaller ones? There we go. Destroy the smaller ones. That's my plan for that shop, because it's not opening. Um, what's this for now? No check-in desks, because there's no baggage handling service enabled. The GW419. Okay. Well, that flight hasn't taken off. Well, it has now. <laughs> Took a while. Um, loads of people can't find where they're meant to go, so this is going well. Um, that's mainly because... Oh, crap, I haven't finished. Uh, I know why. Right, okay, one second, one second. I'm fixing it. Relax, everybody. Uh, we're going to do a new exit. Where's the exit man? There... Sorry, everybody. Oh, flipping hell. We will get this right one day, I promise, everybody. We will get good at this game. <laughs> uh, look at all these people stuck at the gate. Because <laughs> they're like, my baggage is there and I can't get to it. Don't worry, we're going to be destroying this entrance soon. Um, so let's destroy that. And we're going to wall it up as soon as it's been destroyed by our amazing team of construction workers. Yeah. Yep, yep, they're all going to get angry because I'm destroying their entrance. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, construction team, there we go. Lovely, you set people free. Look at all this, look, no one can access their stuff. Oh, it's so funny, no one can access their actual luggage. Which is actually really funny. I'm trying to open this. There we go. Now you can. Now you can. Everyone can access their stuff now. They're all just standing there. Why? You're free to do what you want. Are these... These are all employees, right? Oh, there is another issue. Flip it. <laughs> We're really good at this game. <laughs> oh, we didn't even put an exit. Oh, dearie me. There we go. So all these people now can collect all their luggage. Sorry, everybody, for the humongous errors that we just created. Um, but you should all be able to collect your stuff now. And hopefully, hopefully, we shouldn't have too many more issues. The problem I've got, clearly, is baggage handling. Right, this car now, what we can do is um, assign it to park here. So this should park there at all times. And then wherever the other one is, I don't know where it is at this time. There it is. Nice. We should assign it to this stand. So again, it always parks there all the time, so there's no real issues. The problem is no checking desks for blah 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 due to the baggage handler services enabled so i sort of know what's going on now i think so these desks are not opening because the baggage service is enabled 
right? But to get these guys to oper Terminal 2 to operate a baggage operating system, because I don't think I can turn it off for this Terminal 1. I can't I can't turn it off. So we sort of have an issue. That's the problem. I think what we should be able to do is to turn it off. But because we've activated the system and the service, it applies to the whole airport. Maybe that's something I need to look at going moving forward. Um, but it just seems to be a bit of an odd one to to do. Uh, I wouldn't have done it that way. Because now I need to check change all my check-in desks. I sort of need to change everything. Um, and I need everything to operate from this. And that could be a problem too. But let's try and see what we can do, shall we? Let's do our best. So, I guess we'll get some check-in desks in. Some new check-in desks. So we go one, two, three, and four. Now these check-in desks, not even a flight is scheduled at them, so with these we can just demolish them. So one, two, three, and four. Oh dear, we will get there. It'll happen. These check-in desks now will operate that, so what we need to do and make sure that we get in place as they are being built is the lifts for them to go down, 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 and down. And then what we need to do is get the conveyor belt system to join up with this system here. That's the plan. So, that should work. Then what we need to do is connect it, start connecting our stands when they're free, even though this is an absolute ball lake, to all of our... Oh, you, you, quick, can we get you? Yes. Whew, that was lucky. We need to connect them all to our new baggage bay. And what we need to do is buy 97 baggage trucks. Yeah, genuinely true. Have to buy 97 of them. Um, just to cover them all, really. I think we can get one baggage truck for each of these small stands, maybe, as well. Oh, it's a lot of money. That one can connect. So we're just not connected to these two or these two. So we're waiting for those flights to leave. And once they've left, we should then, there we go, connect. Uh, whilst we're waiting for all this, vehicles, small pushback trucks, order seven. I think we needed eight. Order another one. Oh, we can't. have to wait now. Uh, any, yeah, still waiting for this one, this one, and this one. Need these flights to leave, really. So we'll connect you. I'm surprised neither of them have left yet. Oh, there we go. Crap. Connect. And then this one, which is due to leave very shortly, and has... Excellent. So, now we should no longer have these ones coming through. Oh yeah, we haven't connected to the baggage bay. Baggage bay connect. Baggage bay connect. Baggage bay connect. Baggage bay connect. Now, we shouldn't get any more now. There we go. I think we have done it. Now we've done some projects, uh, Maverick fuel trucks, let's get that done. Um, we can look at getting some automation in, get some self-checking desks, that's probably a good idea. Um, and structural engineering, why not? Let's get these two jobs done. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then the rest of you can work on our upkeep. Job done. God, how beautiful. So, finally, we've managed to organize our check-in systems. Now, what this will mean is a bit more neat and up, so um, I'm going to destroy 
you, uh, which is fine. And I want to, I think, destroy this wall and door. Then what I want to do is, we're going to make this all look a bit more neater. Let's just do that. And then we need to make sure, oh crap, that we're not monsters. So they don't need to be big queues. Oh crap. Because... Oh crap, I've done it again. I keep clicking the wrong one. Um, yeah, they don't have to be big queues because this is only for the little flight areas. And we're going to be changing this up anyway. Um, but what we can do, um, and what I absolutely will do, is um, bulldoze these seats. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your input, but I'm bulldozing your seat. Um, mainly because I'm going to put some more check-in desks here. In fact, self-check-in is going to be here when it's ready, which is really exciting. So, we have new check-in desks for our luggage. The luggage is now going down and joining the conveyor belt system in the world's longest conveyor belt system to clog up this conveyor belt system. And hopefully, this doesn't get too clogged up. It might do. I think this is quite a lot of stands for one baggage bay. Um, but because there's a lot of light stands in it, we might get away with it. And then in the next episode, what I might do is end up building a jetway here, maybe just the one stand here, with a jetway upstairs. So passengers can now walk under. Um, I am really tempted. I don't understand why this shop hasn't opened. It hasn't opened at all um, at any point. Now, I might cancel the contract, yes. These guys have been fixing this till for quite some time. I think they're stuck because this till's gone in. So can we bulldoze that? <laughs> oh, what a mess. We need to relook at this sh restaurant, I think. It's not quite worked as I would probably have liked. Um, we cancelled the contract on it, but... Will someone come and destroy this? So he's demolishing this one. And they've demolished it. But these two have are doing something else to this shop. We're gonna delete the room. I've uh, I'm just not I don't know what these two are doing. Ah oh, Are they deleting No, don't know what they're doing. They could be there forever. We've got a wasteful restaurant here. Or a wasteful cafe which isn't doing anything. Oh, great. What a waste of time that was. Wasn't it? building that. What we might do, uh, what I might do is just alt and copy all that and oh, I did put alt, didn't I? Uh, whoa. There's secure zones everywhere over here. Oh, secure zones are bugged out as well. Is that because of the downstairs or? No. No, it's just bugged out. It knows there's only three security points for that one exit, though, so that seems to work. Maybe a restart of the game will get this working. This queue system seems to be working quite nicely. Um, we've got a broken shop, uh, which we probably saw as much of coming, I suppose. So um, what I do want to do is alt and copy this. Oh, to be fair, it's not a room. That's because it's no longer a restaurant room. Um, maybe if we just then went you go here, here and here and then you fridges go there and then these lovely little booths go there and there there and there and then a till and must get a large till because I know they work I 
There we go. Right. Everyone's sitting down on the chairs now because we've opened it up. Um, but all of this is pointless. It's not working. Nothing here is working. Oh! We'll just demolish that for now and we'll open it over here. Let's have a look. Who wants it? Um, <laughs> because, yeah, Bell Beer are definitely not having it. Swift Fetch? Why don't they want it? Uh, there's not enough fridges. Oh, that makes complete sense. Let me put some more fridges in there for you. Then it's all yours again. One, two, three. There we go. Swift Veg will take this one on now. Goodness me, that took ages. And there they go, installing our brand new Swift Veg. Um, and actually, the, we did manage to fix the little glitch that was going on here. And sorry everybody that was sitting down and enjoying their little sit down. So hopefully this shop actually opens, and if it does, we'll reopen this one. I'm not too fussed. Um, this shop's done quite well. I don't think it's going to hit its target. And this shop, uh, it might hit its target, but oh well. Um, baggage is working. It seems to be working okay. I mean, they're chucking it on the conveyor belts pretty effectively. Um, you know, we've done the baggage bay exit, and we've installed brand new check-in desks. Um, moving forward... Um, we'll be able to fully automate this system. In fact, automation apparently is done. Um, Lord knows. Is is there a new section in here? Infrastructure. Desks. Yes. Oh, look, little check-in desks. And the check-in desk, look. Oh, that's so refreshing to see, isn't it? Ha! automatic check-in desks so we'll we'll try and put those in next next time it makes complete sense that we'll do that next time around um so we can now do automated check-in desks um which is good news and a self-boarding gate oh, i don't i can't i can't get over what's going on right now we will definitely look at doing that in the next episode all these people waiting for their baggage don't worry um, we did also actually um just before we go i always do this i know i always do this but I feel bad. Why don't some of you, after that long flight, take a seat in one of our luxurious chairs? Go on. Treat yourself. It's all about treating yourself. And so you should, after a very long haul flight. Absolutely brilliant. Right, so yeah, that um, Swift Veg didn't open. And these, again, guards just get stuck here wondering what the hell they want to do. Um, I think what will probably end up happening... Um, is we will revisit this and we'll have a look at it um, again tomorrow. And hopefully, just by restarting the game, a lot of these little things will be sort of fixed moving on. So yes, thank you very much everybody for tuning in. This is Airport CEO Alpha 35. Remember, everything is experimental. So things will break and crash here and there, so that's not a problem. But we will catch you next time where we will look at some of the automated features, a new feature in the game, in the next episode. And I will catch you all on the flippity flip thank you bye bye